Welcome to episode 45 of the Bolton Wonders Road to Glory series. It's the start of season three, and I'm going to need your guys' opinion as we'll go here. And we're going to look first. We are in a preseason tournament, but as you can see here, we have five million in the transfer budget. Not quite a Premier League budget. I was hoping to get a little bit more, but we do have some options. But what I want to show you is mainly here financial reduce player wages by 11,000 so you know my plan was to go out and buy some big players this season and they actually want me to sell players so here's where you guys come in I want you to leave a comment down below whether you want me to do a financial takeover and basically ignore this financial goal even though it's high or stay the course and sell a few players and maybe we can stay up because as you see domestic success they only want me to avoid regulation and of course uh, reach the round of 32 stage and within two seasons finish mid table so youth development is just the second half of that and then within three season increase season ticket holders with at least 10 percent of the stadium's capacity so leave those comments below take over or stand pat but as far as the uh, preseason tournament goes we are in a group with Nastic, Firth and CD Lugo uh, let's see who the other side is chance to maybe double our budget here the other side of the group is Tarek Granzi, Levante right <laughs> KV Kurik and Zaragoza probably butchered several of those but we'll do the group stage today in this episode I'll just show you the main highlights hopefully we can advance one final piece of business before we head off into the games that offers come in for Connor Wilkinson uh, from Rangers for 2.3 million not really looking to move him but he is it could be excess so if they'll give us 3.5 uh, we'll consider it but let's go ahead and get into those matches now. First up in the group stages is Firth out of Germany. Could have swore they would have been like an Irish team with that Shamrock in their logo. Several debutantes, Zahid, Grogard, Price in goal, and Carter at Cam. Berth off here to a good start. Price can only punch this cross away. Goes to Bersha. Trippic in the box. Pinamonte right on his back. He's going to spin and fire into the side netting. Nearly giving the visitors the lead. But the debutantes prove to be worth their while. Carter's going to play this forward for Davis. Who applied it on to Zahid. And a left-footed shot across the face of the goal. He scores on his preseason debut his debut with the team and that is an absolute beauty can't wait to get this season off and see what it can do that's a one nothing Bolton lead but the lead wouldn't last long into the second half Bersha with a dangerous cross in there Trippett gets the header on the end of it ties it up 1-1 And that's how it's going to end as a 1-1 draw. So a point for both us and Firth off the first group stage. Cameron Carter gets men of the match with an 8.1 rating in his debut. So Rangers say they're going to pay $3 million. Uh, so we'll lower our offer, or we'll lower our asking price. See if they'll go to $3.4 million. Maybe they'll bite on that. Also here, one of the center backs I went in for, this Davidson Sanchez out of Ajax. Uh, they said a price of $8.5 million. Well, we don't have that. So we will offer, looks like we can offer $4.5 million. We don't have much more. So we'll see if they'll accept that. 
Going into the second match, we will be the visitors versus CD Lugo out of Spain. We are at the second match stage for you. So changes, complete change of the lineup here. Mostly our starting lineup with Hall and Moxie on that left hand side. Ward and goal. And it didn't take long to get it to start it off. Clark's going to send that through for Hall. Keeper can't help it. Vela's there to put it away. A great start. Four minutes in. But Vela wasn't finished there. He's going to play it over for Hall. Hall's going to try and get this end on to his right foot. Poked away. Picked up by Wilkinson. He drops it to Vela. Vela on the edge of the box. Splits the defenders. Gets his second of the match. 26 minutes in. It's 2-0. Connor Wilkinson with a chance to make it three here. He gets it onto that left foot, but puts the shot just wide. And Wilkinson's going to get a second chance as they try to get the ball out as time's running out in the first half. Clark with the header on. Wilkinson from the edge of the box again goes wide to the other side. Lugo with their best opportunity here in the second half as it split through for Yosalu. He's going to hit the post, and the header couldn't be put on target. You look there at Camarillo. And they get one more chance here as time is expiring as Caballero puts it in, and Miguel puts the shot just wide. So 2-0, we earn our first preseason victory in the third season here at Bolton. Vela has a hell of a game. She gets man of the match. 9.1 rating and pretty decent all around. Hall at left wing on a 7.3. Okay, so some business here before the final group stage match. Another offer has come in for Connor Wilkinson. We'll dismiss this from Harvey Price. Uh, let's see, Wilkinson, who's this one in from? Huddersfield, 1.6 million. Well, they're probably not going to be able to afford it. We're going to put the offer there at 3.5. If they want them, they're going to have to pay. And what else have we got here? Um, made an offer for Goldson. We'll come back to that as we got a player returning. Mitchell Van Bergen's back from injury, so we'll, maybe he'll get in some time here. And Mason's back from his suspension from last season's preseason tournament. Uh, Connor Goldson. So we put in an offer for him earlier with Weeder involved in it. As you see, it's worth $3.5 million. Other clubs are in on him. So we'll remove Weeder. And we'll up the offer. Let's see. We go $2.5 million. We'll set it at that. See if they'll take it. And I put an offer in for Richard Co Cochise out of Independiente. So we'll go back in and see if we can't get them to accept. Uh, they're short on players. He's worth 4.3. We'll offer him 4.5. See if they'll go for that. And an offer in here for Pinamonte. Rangers still say they'll pay three point or three million. Uh, maybe they'll take three point three. Trying to get as much as I can for them. And see who this offer. Oh, the offer for Pinamonte is in from Chelsea. They're offering five point five million. Says I can get maybe six point five million, but we are dealing with Chelsea here. They have no shortage of funds. So I'm going to ask for 10 million and maybe they'll uh, pay. He hasn't played, he's only played like four games for us. But the final group stage game at the Santiago Bernabeu versus Natic out of Spain as well. And pretty much the same lineup as the first game. Gascalan is going to get the start in goal. Mason's going to get a start there at center back. Wilson out on the right. Looked like it was going to be the same as last game as Jan Vie is going to tee it up here on his left foot and the keeper gets pushes it out wide. 
but we would find the goal. The opening goal here about 10 minutes in is gonna try the same shot as before. Davis picks up the rebound. Same as that first Vela goal from last game. And that's a one nothing lead, 10 minutes in the half. Nasic almost get a goal back here as one of those dangerous crosses comes in, but the header on the end of it goes wide. Yaskalina not even moving on that. And this will be put to bed in added time as Bennett is going to find Alashe who pushes it through for the youngster Watson. He gets his first goal with the club. That's going to give us a 2-0 lead and seal our way into our first ever knockout stage of a preseason tournament. So a 2.0 or 2-0 victory. Man of the match going to Laurie Wilson at right back on the 8.3. Okay, another offer in here for Connor Wilkinson. See is the popular one from Hercules Almelo. Uh, they're offering up 1.5, no, 3.5 is gonna be his asking price. So we'll leave it at that. Couple other emails here. Oh, another offer. Huddersfield have upped it to 1.8 million. Uh, I knew they wouldn't be able to afford it. So we're just gonna keep it right at 3.5 and make them go away. Let's see. So the offer there for Connor Goldson, they've set a price at 4.3 million. Uh, we picked up a little over a million in prize money for making it to the knockout stages. So we'll handle this here with Goldson. Uh, see, I think we offered up 2.5 last time. Yeah, offered up 2.5. He's valued at 3.5. They want 4.3. So we'll give you, we'll give valuation and maybe they'll accept that. Another offer in for Connor Wilkinson, this time from Pacos Ferreira. Never heard of him. They actually 2.2 million, so a little bit respectable. We'll up it up to what we've been asking everybody for. So maybe, maybe they'll bite on that. And oh, the offer there from Independiente has been accepted at 4.5 million. So not sure and let's see Connor Wilkinson there Rangers are out on Connor Wilkinson so so be it so 4.5 million uh, looking I was looking for a new starting center back to bear alongside <clears throat> he wants 20,000 a week um, we can afford that at this point although we will have to sell along a few players if we're gonna meet that objective depending on what you guys vote for We'll give him an important first-team player. Hercules, I know. They've gone up to 3.1 million. So we'll see maybe if they'll go 3.4. Same as we did with Rangers. Maybe they'll pay the little extra and we can make a little bit of money here. Chelsea have upped their offer to 6 million. No, 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 Chelsea. If you want them, you're paying 10. You have the money. And not really looking to depart with them, but I mean, if we're going to get that for them. And let's see, Huddersfield have backed out on the Connor Wilkinson's dealings. But that is going to be all for today's episode. Please, I want to make this more interactive with you guys. So vote whether you want me to do a takeover or whether you want me to stay true to what the um, front office wants. That is going to be all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm looking forward to your comments over the weekend. And we'll get back next Tuesday to see what you guys have said.